Yes. Very beautiful. I hear somebody's going to be crowned this month. Yes. And I've also heard something. What is it? That. Oh, that. Somebody's going to get married. With whom, Your Highness? I must know about it. It's a matter of great historical importance. Oh, God. Don't worry about your historical importance. That's your music. Dance. Priya, Priya. Music. Dance. Priya, music. Music. Priya, dance, dance. You and I and this moonlit night. My dream's coming true. Mine too. Sandra. My love. Your Highness. Captain Tyre to see Your Highness. Tyre? What brings him here? All right. Go him in. Tyre. It's always Tyre. He must come and spoil everything. Indrani. Why can't you leave us alone? May I assure our beloved court dancer that it does not give me any pleasure to be the cause of her discomfort. I, uh, Your Highness, I come here at the specific instructions of His Majesty the King. And what's his pleasure this time? It is to inform you about the arrival of His Holiness Kashishwar. He is now only a few miles away from here at the temple of Shyam Sundar. I know that. You have to receive and bring him in a procession, weren't you? Yes, Your Highness. But His Holiness would not come in a procession and turn me back. Perhaps His Holiness would not condescend to accompany the captain of the guards. <laughs> <laughs> he said he was a hermit and did not need a procession. He preferred to come alone. Thanks for the information. You may go now. But His Majesty thinks that perhaps His Holiness has been offended and wants your highness to go and receive him. But, uh, why should I go? Because he's bringing with him the sacred dust from Lord Chaitanya's feet. The sacred dust? His majesty desires that under no circumstances should his holiness come alone. If something were to happen to him... Sire, go and tell my father that it's sinful on the part of the two Vaishnava even to think of such a mishap. No harm can ever befall a person who carries with him the sacred dust. Very well, Your Highness. The sacred dust. Yes, the sacred dust. And with that, he will bless you and me when we get married. Will he? Will he, Sandra? Why shouldn't he? He has come here to distribute it among the faithful followers of Lord Chaitanya. When you dance and sing in praise of our Lord Krishna, you remind me of the devotion of Radha. Please do not compare me with Radha. You forget that I... I'm a mere dancer. No, Indrani. You're not a mere dancer. You... You are divine. Divine? Oh, no, my friend. I'm only a And what else did he say? He said that no harm could befall a man who carried with him the sacred dust of Lord Chaitanya's feet. Oh, my son has learned to talk like a philosopher. A true Vaishnava indeed. It means that he will escort his holiness to the shrine. <laughs> Pardon me, your majesty. He will not. Why? The 
prince worships too much at the shrine of beauty to think of the shrine of God. What do you mean? He's still with Indrani, the court dancer. The court dancer. It's always the court dancer. Must he lose his head over a court dancer? And so he sent you back. Well, well, we shall see. Holy hymn singers of our beloved kingdom, on behalf of the lady of the house, I welcome you on this most auspicious night of the festival of the full moon. We are grateful for this hospitality. And now, in accordance with the custom of our land, you will witness Ras Leela, the glorious dance of our Lord Sri Krishna and his devotee Radha. Hallowed be the name of our Lord Sri Krishna. <laughs> Thank <laughs> you. 
His Majesty the King. Chandra. Your Majesty. What are you doing here? Your Majesty. Stop saying Your Majesty. Why haven't you gone to receive His Holiness Sri Kashiswa? Answer me. You don't interrupt. Don't you know His Holiness is coming here with the sacred dust? Suppose he meets with some mishap. I have come. There is no need for Your Majesty to worry. Your Holiness? You? On my way from the Shamsundar temple to this city, I met this holy hymn singers and came with them here. This has indeed been a thrice blessed day for me. Tonight I have seen the dance of Radha and Krishna, as it might have been performed in the kingdom of the gods, as it might have been dazzled the jaded eyes of the immortal lover of dance and music, Celestial Linda. I have never seen such devotion before, my child. It seemed as if Radha herself had come down on earth and danced for us. I bless you the most valuable treasure of a true Vaishnava. The sacred dust from the feet of our Lord. Your Holiness, I beseech you, stop! The dancer, she is the Rajnar. She knows it's forbidden. She's a newcomer. Then why don't they stop her? Let's see what happens. Stop. Give your offering to me. I will place it for you at the feet of our Lord Radha Mohan. But I wanted to place the offerings with my own hands for the welfare of our prince. No good fortune can befall him if you were to do it. But why? Not all can take the offering to the Lord. Oh. 
You are not going to take the offering back, are you? Yes. My fast has been in vain. But... It doesn't matter now. Chandra! I told you, didn't I? What did she take herself for? An ordinary courtesan? Trying to pollute our sacred temple, eh? Three sons of our noble king have already died. How can anyone dare offend the gods? Certainly not, certainly not. The king's men would not allow me to pray in the city temple because I'm a court dancer. Is not a prayer heard by God when a dancer prays? <laughs> because man has a highly developed intelligence, he behaves foolishly. It is his prerogative. Tell me, is it such a great sin to be a dancer that the temple doors should be shut in my face? That temple is not worth entering that shuts its doors against any living soul. But do not worry. You can always pray here. Will you see our Lord? Look, there he is. You can pray here. Yes, but it's only a stone. Prayer reaches God through its sincerity, not through its form, my child. Your words give me strange comfort. Then I can say my prayers here. Most certainly. He will grant your wish. If he doesn't... <laughs> he will. I know he will. But why are you going away? I'm going to bring the offering. Oh, no. Our Lord doesn't need any offerings. Only prayers are enough. I have often prayed to you, but not in this way. Today I have brought no offerings, but only a heart full of devotion to lay at your feet for the welfare of my prince. Keep him safe, O oh God. Where is Indrani? She has gone to the temple. Why did you come away? What else could I do? But why didn't you protest? How 
how could I? You should have told them that God does not belong to the king or his priests or anyone else for that matter. Every human being should have a right to pray in his temple. I don't care for that right now. I have found my temple. Where? Over there. That broken temple? Is there an idol there? Oh, yes. A real one who needs no offerings and listens to the prayers of all. Even to that of a down. Darling, you're hurt. But don't worry. The day I become the king, I shall drive away all these priests and open the temples to one and all. I know you will, Sandra. Glorious. The sky, these hills, the lake, and you. Yes. Here one does feel so free and different. Different? From what? From what I have to be in the palace. There I know you as your royal highness. Here I am free to call you Chandra. Pindrani. Here I can tell you that I love you, Chandra. I too feel the same, Indrani. I'm often tortured by this artificial barrier between us. I'm painfully conscious of my duties as a prince. Sometimes I feel like running away from everything. Running away with you, alone. I love you so much, Indrani. Chandra, I don't know what I would do without you. You will now be without me, my love. Oh, I don't know what to say. When you come tonight to the Rash Festival, I will dance for you with my whole being. And perhaps through my dance, I will be able to tell you what you mean to me. And how much I love you. You will come tonight, won't you? Yes, my love. No, father. It can never be. You must tell the envoy of Tipra that I cannot marry the princess. Do not behave stupidly, Chandra. The princess is beautiful and young. I cannot understand why you should refuse to marry her. Because I can't. I don't want to. And why not? By this marriage, we'll turn the worst enemies of your country into your best friends. Listen to me, my son. I'm getting old and I want to retire from the affairs of the state. That's why I call His Holiness here. Once the sacred dust has been distributed among the faithful, I will leave this country for the holy land of Navdeep and spend the rest of my days in holy contemplation. And your father can only do so if you agree to marry the princess of Tipara and take the reins of your kingdom in your hands. Well spoken, Your Holiness. Did you hear that? Yes, father. But no more buts, my son. Come, let's go to the pleasure hall. I have ordered the court dancer to give a performance. We must keep the envoy in good humor, you know. The court dancer? Don't you worry, my dear. We have done everything in our power to entertain the envoy. <laughs> Your Holiness, I must say that in matters of marriage, when a boy says no, it means yes. Did you see how he ran away? <laughs> yes. But I think he looked perturbed. Oh. That was for the marriage. Or maybe for the court dancer. No, no. The court dancer is a newcomer and she dances well. Quite well, I should say. Maybe Chandrakirti likes her a bit. But that's nothing. After all, she's an insignificant dancer. Maybe you are right, Your Majesty. But then, could an ordinary court dancer have ever danced as she did? What invisible power seemed to inspire her to bring to life as if it were the very soul of divine Radha? Her eyes spoke the language of love. But it was a love that seemed to soar above the earth. It was a love that seemed to transcend human bounds and emanate a manifestation of the divine in man. It was indeed unearthly. 
the serial could a mere thought dancer have conjured up such a vision there comes the envoy please go and see him your majesty Maharaja Dhiraj Sriman Sri Jai Singh Maharaj, the envoy from Tripura. We rejoice to greet our noble guest. I feel honored, Your Majesty. And we hope your presence will cement forever the bonds of friendship between Manipur and Tripura. So it shall, or else the mission would have failed. Please be seated.
dancer. Can Pipera boast of such a dancer? Oh no, not in the whole of Pipera would you find a dancer to match her. Yes? Come. Please accept this is a slight token of my admiration for you. And now, Your Majesty, may I make the happy announcement? Announcement? Of course. My master, His Majesty the King of Tipara, has sent me here on a mission. It is that the noble Prince of Manipur shall ask for the hand of our royal princess in marriage. <laughs> But father, yes, yes, I know. Uh, nothing shall please us more than to see Manipur and Tithara united into bonds of friendship and love. Your Majesty. Pick it up. You forget our noble guest has blessed you with this gift. Pick it up. Yes. This is not the sacred dust. I may take it. I must take it. Yuvraj, I wish you luck. I wish you every happiness. But the prince? Who knows where he goes and what he does? Perhaps he has gone out only into the night. Not alone, your majesty. Not alone? With the court dancer, perhaps. No, no, no. She's a wonderful dancer and a beautiful woman, too. So she is the best I have in my kingdom. Uh, if you stayed with us a little longer, you can see more for yourself. It could always be arranged. This is not possible, Your Majesty. Why? If I fail to return before the eighth of the moon, my king will conclude that Your Majesty has refused our princess in marriage. It will mean war. War? Who wants war? We have always been friendly neighbors. But if I return empty-handed, hundred thousand men will march into this Manipur of yours. Hundred thousand men? No, no, no. Let's not talk of unpleasant things. The ceremony shall take place. Tomorrow? Yes, tomorrow. Your Majesty. Well, sir. Beautiful. I do not even want to look at them. One who is beautiful must not turn away from a thing of beauty. But these pearls have brought me so much sorrow to remind me of his coming marriage. Kappa, there was a look in his eyes I could not understand. My dear child, what has love got to do with understanding? When love is sincere, it remains constant in life and death. Death, you have spoken truly. When love cannot remain constant in life, Death should be a welcome boon. Ingrani! What are you doing here? Trapper, please don't go. When young hearts meet, old heads must retire. Why did you come away like this? Couldn't you have left me in peace even for a while? How could there be any peace with you and me torn apart like this? But you must think of your future queen. I've been thinking of no one else. Then why did you come here? Because it was here alone that I could find her. Please do not deceive me, Sandra. I've never deceived you, Indrani. I swear. I'm not interested. And I don't believe you. Why don't you understand? I love you. I love you, Indrani. Oh, how could I convince you? Lord. Lord. You be my witness. I swear that I love Indrani and no one else. She and she alone will be my wife. My friends. Indrani, if you become my queen, then and then only will I be the king. Oh, Lord. Court dancer, always with a court dancer. Is he never anywhere else? 
Forgive me for bringing you worse news this time, Your Majesty. What is it? Speak out. They say that the prince is going to marry the court dancer. Marry the court dancer? <laughs> Tyre, since when have you developed a sense of humor? Marry the court dancer. <laughs> <laughs> Who spread this rumor? Achangpa and Mahakal, two friends of the court dancer's household, Your Majesty. Then punish them at once for spreading false rumors. The loyal subjects of Your Majesty did not wait for any official orders. They gave the fools a thrashing and shaved their heads. Shaved their heads? Why, they should have cut their throats. Go and summon the prince here at once. Very well, Your Majesty. Wait. Going to marry the court dancer, hmm? We shall see. My dear, there's nothing wrong in trying to be happy. But your people will never consent to this marriage. Well, it's not their marriage. Suppose your father disowns you. Let him do what he pleases. I have made my choice. But... Uh, my darling, I do understand. You're worried about me and my future. But let me tell you this. I would give up a hundred kingdoms just to be by your side like this. This happiness is too much for me. His Majesty the King. Chandra. Your Majesty, I command you to leave this place at once. Father. Now, you have heard me. Don't worry, darling. I'm going to tell him everything right now. Father. Well, what is it? I want to tell you that I have decided to marry Indrani. How dare you do a thing that would put our royal house to shame in the eyes of the world? What about your king's consent? What about the sanction of society? Approval of the people? Have you forgotten that soon you will be crowned king of Manipur? If I cannot be crowned with Indrani as my queen, I will not be crowned at all. What has the world come to? A son disobeys his father. A subject defies his king. A court dancer destroys the kingdom. But she has committed no crime by being a court dancer. Why, it was only the other day that His Holiness Kashishwar himself wanted to bless her with the sacred dust. And preferred not to do so when he found out who she was. Then it means that lotus that grows out of dirt is too unclean to be offered to the gods. I am not prepared to argue with you. Especially here in a dancer's house. This ceremony for the acceptance of Tipera's offer has been fixed for tomorrow. All Manipur will gather to witness the momentous event. If anything were to go wrong, the consequences would be disastrous. It's useless, Father. I have made up my mind. The crown and the kingdom belong to you. You can keep them. But my life belongs to me. And I will not have it ruined like that. Is that your final answer? Yes. Very well. Father! Done. What happened? The same old story. Duty towards the crown, society and its customs. I had expected it. But I will not let them ruin our lives. Indrani, get ready. I'm going to the palace. I shall be back by dawn to take you away with me to the Shams and the temple. To the Shams and the temple? Why? We shall get married there. Married? Really? Yes, darling. And now you must get ready. I'm going. It will soon be dawn, and the temple is a long way off. You mustn't sleep tonight, my love.
प्रिया 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 व्हाट डू मैटर व्हाट हैपेंड आई एम गोइंग अवे वे टू विद द प्रिंस व्हाई टू गेट मैरिड टू गेट मैरिड ही ही इट्स अनबिलीवेबल इट्स ट्रू प्रिया इट्स ट्रू ही इज कमिंग हियर इट डोंट टू टेक मी अवे विद हिम हाउ वंडरफुल ओए प्लीज गो एंड पैक माय थिंग्स प्रिया प्रिया will you help me to dress what i think so come to such a pass that i shall be forced to take some drastic action yes i shall have her imprisoned her imprisonment will not destroy his love for her his love for her but has he no love for me his father doesn't he care for me any longer I have loved him so much. You're hopeless. What shall I do? It's only a temporary infatuation, Your Majesty. God will grant him wisdom and bring him back to you. Won't you wear this? No. Then will you wear this ring? Yes. But why are you taking that off? Because it contains poison. Poison? Yes, dear. We court dancers have to wear a poison ring. Such is our life. It has always been a reminder of death and tragedy. But now that I'm assured of love and happiness, why should I think of death now? I don't need this anymore. Oh, I'm so very, very happy, dear. I must go to the Brofen Temple before I leave. Why? to offer my thanks to the lord who has listened to my prayers and granted my wishes but there are signs of a storm breaking what about the storm that's raging in my heart what news daya his highness the prince has come your majesty has he come back where is he in the palace your majesty you seen the palace yes your holiness but he is going to see the envoy what You may wait outside. Your Holiness, perhaps he has come to inform the envoy of his intentions to marry the court dancer. Perhaps he has already married her. That no, that will never be. I'd rather have her executed in the public square than see her married to my son. I'll arrest her. I'll imprison her. I'll throw her out of the kingdom. Be not so very impatient as to precipitate a crisis which can be avoided. All is not lost as yet. We know the prince has decided to marry the court dancer. But does the court dancer share his views? I do not understand you, Your Holiness. I am going to see the court dancer and find out whether she too has finally decided to marry the prince. Who is that? The child. Your Holiness. Why all this? We are leaving Manipur. What? We are going away with Indrani. Oh. Go and tell her that I have come to see her on an important mission. But your holiness. Don't waste your time. His Majesty has sentenced her to death, and I have come to save her life. David. Where is she? She has gone to the Brahmin temple. What? At this time of the night? Yes, your holiness. When the prince asked her to marry him, she felt so very happy that she went to offer her thanks to the Saligram Seelam. Saligram Seelam? Yes, your holiness. She said that it would be ungrateful on her part if, in the moment of her happiness, she forgot one who always listened to her prayers. Then all is not lost yet. Which is the shortest way to the broken temple? There is a path cutting straight across the hill from the left side of the house. Thank you. Are you going there? Yes. But your holiness, the path is dangerous and it's going to rain. I have to go. Never did I dream that you would answer my prayers and grant my wishes in this way. You have been so kind and so merciful. Grant him happiness, O Lord, and make me worthy of him. Who's there? It's I. Your Holiness. Yes, I have come to see you. At this time of the night. 
I'm sure you have not come here to bless me with the sacred dust. I wanted to bless you with it before anyone else. But when I learned that you were a dancer, the earth slipped from under my feet. And although the sacred dust was in my hand, I felt as if I had been polluted. Then I'm afraid that dust is not sacred. What? Yes. If it had been so, I would have received it. Tell me, Your Holiness, how many sinners must have got salvation by receiving the sacred dust from your hands? Hundreds, thousands, tens of thousands. Yet, I will never receive it from you. And why? Perhaps I am beyond redemption. But even if it were so, do I not need the mercy of our Lord all the more? To need is not enough. You must also deserve. No, it's not true. Our Lord often blessed those who deserved his blessings the least. Persons like Joga and Madhai who had cast stones on him were blessed by his love. But I forget. It was our Lord and not a holy man. Where are you going? Home. The prince is still in the palace. You cannot marry till he comes back. Who told you? Even if no one did, the prayers of yours would have told me the whole story of your love. Shall I tell you why I have come here? Please do. I know it. And I can also give you the answer. What's it? Nothing will stop me from marrying the prince. When he would not give me up on any account, you thought I would do so at your bidding. No, Your Holiness. I will not give him up. Not even if you were the Lord himself. Then you realize it will do him no good to marry you. Perhaps you will. May I take your leave now? Listen to me. You can't marry him. It's impossible. Why? Is marriage a crime? This marriage will certainly be a crime. May I know why? Just think for a moment. Who you are. What you are. I know who I am. He knows it too. And he's going to marry me all the same. Marry him if you will. Beware of what will happen to you afterwards. Let anything happen. I don't care. You will. Unless you want Chandrakirti to perish. When the people find out that the prince has married you, they will be mad with indignation. The army will revolt. The subjects will rise in indignation. They will never allow a dancer to be a queen and sit on the sacred throne of Manipur. Let them not. I don't care. And he too does not care. We don't want the throne. We just want to get married. Very well then. Go and get married. And when the armies of Tipera invade your kingdom, the only man who could have offered them resistance will not be there at his post to defend it. Just think for a while, at this critical period in the history of the Vaishnava kingdom, in this life and death struggle of the people of Manipur, in this hour of trial, you are taking away from them their only weapon, their only hope. No. No, Your Holiness. Please have pity on me. I beg you to let us alone. Don't you see? I cannot give him up. What even when I beg you to give him up? No, it's impossible. I'm prepared to give up everything else. Not everything, my child. You may be giving up and retaining his love. Do not forget, there is nothing which you cannot give up in the service of your country. But I love him so much. He's my very life. Even then, your love will not save him. Even if he accepts the loss of his people, the king of Tepera will not spare him. He will not rest till he has killed him. Now he has the terrible consequences of his contemplative marriage. The life of the prince is not his own. And you too have a duty to perform. A duty towards your country. A duty towards your religion which is greater than your love for him. But what shall I do? Give him up. 
This is the supreme hour of your life. Today your love is being put to a test. And it's a great test. Make an offering of your love to Lord Chaitanya. For the sake of your beloved. For the safety of your free. If you really love him, I'm sure you will not fail him. <laughs> me, my child, to see you suffer like this. But I couldn't help it. I wish I had not this painful duty to perform. May God bless you and give you patience. This is no time to sleep. Get up, my love. Get up. Who is it? It's I. Your Highness. No. No more Highness, my dear. What do you mean? I am... I have... Uh... I know. You have changed your mind. What? Yes. Who told you? I've been dreaming. Dreams don't always come true, my love. No. I'm afraid they don't. You're joking, Indrani. Listen. Monsters. But the priest and the people are against our marriage. Even the army had threatened to revolt. So I decided to give up the... the... idea of marriage. You needn't give all these excuses if you have decided to give me... What has happened to you? Why do you hurt me like this? The army is going to revolt. Then? Let them. I don't care. I told them, do whatever you like. I will not give up my betrothed. I gave up my right to the throne instead. But... Darling, don't worry. They will not bother us anymore. But... You... Indrani. What's the matter, dear? I can't go with you. Why? Because you cannot make me the queen. But what does it matter? I will make you my wife. I'll make you happy, dearest. Happier than any queen has ever been. Of what avail will our happiness be without the pomp and grandeur of palaces? Stop jesting, darling. I'm not jesting. Did you think that a woman who is used to the luxuries of the palace would give up everything so easily for the sake of a passing fancy called love? I don't understand this. There's not much to understand. You should have realized that I did not want your love only. I also aspired to be the queen of Manipur. It's a lie. 
Look at me in the face and say that again. I don't love you. I never did. Oh. A poor dancer after all. So you never wanted my love. You wanted my position. So that you could exploit it to further your selfish ends. Well? All right. I will be a king. But it will not be you who will be my queen. I can assure you. What have you done? Why did you lie to him? Tell him it's not true. Don't send him away. Call him back. Call him back. Manipur, listen, the acceptance ceremony of the offer of Her Highness the Princess of Tripura's hand in marriage with our beloved Prince Chandra Kirti will be performed tonight. And on this most auspicious occasion, His Holiness Kashishwar Goswami will distribute the sacred dust of Lord Chaitanya's feet to all the true devotees outside the royal palace. Give this intrusion, please. I have come to convey to you the order of His Highness the Prince. Well, what is it? Oh, I can't tell you as to how I feel about all this. Please let me know what it is. I'm prepared for the work. Very probably. Nevertheless, it is difficult for you to appreciate as to what my feelings are at the present moment. What is the order? Very well. The acceptance ceremony has been fixed for tomorrow. His Highness the Prince has commanded you to present yourself on the happy occasion and entertain the guests with your dancing. Didn't I tell you? It's no use making love to a prince. He doesn't even know what love is. Look at me. I've always been after you. I mean, I've always loved you. I know why you've always been indifferent to all my proposals. It's but natural that you should aspire to be the future queen of Manipur. But now that your commendable aspirations have been frustrated, you must face facts. I can make you forget the prince, the throne, everything. Come, darling. Let's not waste any more time. Get out. All right. Thank you. 
understand your majesty why the betrothal should not take place just because a court dancer faints they say it portends disaster it will be a real disaster your majesty when the armies of tipara march into your kingdom but we have fresh difficulty in our way his holiness kashiswar is not to be found and without him we cannot perform the ceremony must i remind your majesty the day till the moon is drawing near trouble more trouble why is it that nothing will work out smoothly Your Majesty, Tyre, what is it? Where is His Holiness? At the court dancer's place. I did not hear you properly, Tyre. Did you say he is within the Rani? Yes, Your Majesty. The dancer seems to fascinate a holy man as much as a royal prince. The people are coming into the palace grounds in large numbers. They're clamoring for the sacred dust. They shall have the sacred dust. Tyre, go and arrange to bring His Holiness here at once. Very well, Your Majesty. Now what more your holiness Nothing more my child Then Today I have not come to demand a sacrifice I have come to pay you homage Homage Yes I stand before you in a spirit of humiliation Once I thought I could be your teacher Today I have come to admit that it was I who learned a few things from you. A high priest should not degrade himself thus before a mere dancer. No, a high priest does not degrade himself when he offers puja to a goddess. Your Holiness. Yes, that's what you are. But I am only a... No, you are a goddess in the guise of a dancer. The ordinary woman that torn her heart to pieces and offered it as a sacrifice at the altar of a greater love. Please, I want to forget. I want to forget everything. I know, my child, what the sacrifice has meant to me. When I see you like this, I have misgivings whether I have done the right thing in asking you to give him up. Please, Your Holiness, it's all a thing of the past. Let's not revive memories. We both wish to forget. Indani, Captain Tyre is here. Tyre, what does he want? Why did you let him in? He has come to see His Holiness. To see me? Let him come.
Yes. What is it? Your Holiness, the people are anxiously waiting for you to come and distribute the sacred dust. Those who wish to have the sacred dust will have to come to this house and take it from Indrani. Your Holiness. Yeah. And that too from the hands of a court dancer. Yes. Go and tell the people by virtue of the powers invested in me as the high priest. It rests with me to distribute the sacred dust to whomsoever I choose. But your holiness, his majesty has... You have heard me. You may go. Please, your holiness. This is madness. You must leave this place at once. I will not. In the whole of Manipur, I have not come across anyone who deserve the sacred dust more than yourself, my child. Won't you take the sacred dust? But, Your Holiness... Will you not accept the blessings of our Lord? There was a time when you wanted it and I would not give it to you. Now I beg of you to accept it from my hand and absolve me from the sin of having forced upon you a life of unhappiness which you did not deserve. Wicked court dancer has even voiced his holiness. Yes. You will bear in mind what I have said? Yes, sir. Do not let a single opportunity slip by. Incite the mobs. Poison their ears with tales of witchcraft. She is accursed. Down with the court dancer. Down with the court dancer. She's a witch. I say she's a witch. Or else, how could an ordinary woman so bewitch our noble prince? How could she succeed in changing a holy man? What he says is true. Lord, preserve us from her curse. There's no time to lose. Burn her house. Kill her. Put her to death. Don't let the court dance her. Kill her by all means. First the prince and then the holy man. I tell you, one by one, the court dancer will trap us off. In our unearthly nature, destruction and evil. What have you to say? We will kill her! Kill her! Kill her! Say we kill her! Kill her! Kill her! Kill her! Kill her! Kill her! There they come! Come on! Let's all go and kill her! Kill her! me from here, please. No. You go, Priya. I have decided to remain here. Didn't His Holiness say that the people will come here to take the sacred dust? Let them come. All of them. Perhaps he will come too. The Prince. Have you not said before that I do not want to hear anything about her? Your Highness, you have misunderstood her. That was once upon a time. Not now. But in life... I'm no longer interested in her life. But she loves you. Please, stop it. I do not want to listen to anything. You shall have to listen to her. I say, you shall have to listen to her. Oh, it's you. You two have come to admonish me. Then why not? Has not the house of a dancer become the place of pilgrimage? And perhaps because the high priest had no jewels to give, he made an offering of the sacred dust. Enough. I will not let you misjudge her any longer. Hmm. I shall have to learn about a courtesan's character from a high priest. No, no. She's a very noble woman indeed. If she has played you false, sigh who I am to be blamed. You? Yes. It was I who persuaded her to give you up. Just before you had planned to leave money with her, I saw her at the frozen temple. For your country, for your religion, and for the safety of your person from the armies of Tipara, 
I compel her to kill you. Then what she said was nothing more than a pretense. She has sacrificed herself for your sake. What have you done? What have you done? How could you run to life so mercilessly? Go and save her before it's too late, or else the people might. No! No! They dare not! They dare not! She has pierced you with his holiness! She must be destroyed! Kill her! Kill her! Kill her! Kill her! We are going to kill her! She is a witch! We are going to kill her! I know they can't kill me. The prince had said, no harm can befall a person who carries the sacred dust. I'm afraid he will come here. I know he will. What shall I do then? I will not be able to send him away this time. And if I don't, what will happen to him? Oh, God, please tell me, what am I to do? What shall I do? Should be ashamed of yourselves. Brave boy is a manipur. Going to kill a woman. But she is a witch, Your Highness. She is a goddess, you fool. We do not know what sacrifice she has made for you. You ignorant wretches. He has come. I don't want to ruin his life. Please, God, take me unto you and forgive me. Indrani. 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 I've come to know everything. You can't send me away now. That's why I... Indrani. What's the matter, dear? Don't leave me now. No, oh, dearest. I will never leave you. Come close to me. I want to be near you. I'm here, darling. Won't you take me away with you? Where to? To the shams in the temple. Certainly, my love. Where are you? Why can't I see you? Where are you? Where are you? Indrani, <laughs> what have you done? Shams in the temple. Shams. Oh. 